How to forget someone. You've asked me, how do I forget him? How do I forget her? And this is when they've caused you so much pain or when you just can't stop thinking of them and you want to wipe them out of your mind. You want to erase them from your thought so that you can feel free again, so that you can feel that you belong to you again and you can keep moving forward. And this I understand. But when you want to forget someone, I'd like us to talk about what this truly means, what it truly means for you, for him or her, and for your life moving forward. The repercussions, the different effects that it will have on your life, on your mind, on who you are, and what you are doing, and the way you're viewing yourself, your life, and others around you. My name's Aliki. I'm here to help you upgrade your energy. And in this video, I'm going to talk all about you wanting to forget someone, what this means, and how best you can move forward with this. Now, when it is that you want to forget someone, it means that the thought of them is way too painful for you. Or it's non-stop. You can't seem to stop thinking about him or her. So your solution to this is, I want to forget about him. I want to forget about her completely so that they're no longer in my thoughts and I can think clearly. I can see with clarity. I can feel empowered again and get my power back. Because the truth is, if someone's constantly on your mind, you don't feel that you have clarity you feel this cloudiness, you feel this fogginess, you can't think clearly. And one thing that you will notice again and again is that you don't feel present where you are in the present here and now. No matter what it is you're doing, no matter who it is you're with, your mind is somewhere else. It could be something somewhere in the past with an event that happened with this person or just thinking, having a conversation in your imagination with them. They just keep popping up. And so you're not enjoying, you're not enjoying the moment of where it is you're at. You're not able to create what it is you want to create because half of your mind is somewhere else. Half of your energy is somewhere else. It's on him, it's on her, and it's not here. And when you're with people that you could truly be enjoying yourself with them, and yet your mind is somewhere else, your solution is, if I forget about them, then I will be free. And I see the logic in this. But let's talk about what happens when you forget about them. Let's say that there was a way that you had a superpower that you could erase him or her from your mind completely. They never existed. Then, everything that you have experienced with this person, everything that has been said, that has been done, even the good, even the happy moments, even the moments that you felt huge amounts of love for them, great amounts of happiness, because for them to have been a part of your life, it wasn't all bad. There was good things there. There were happy moments. There were things that you learned, things that you um, did together that did fill you with happiness, that did mean something to you. And all these events have brought you to who you are at this very moment. All that you are doesn't only come from you moving forward in your life, but to all your experiences. And this includes to your experiences with the people that are around you. So he or she, no matter what happened in the end, no matter what the result is this very moment in time that you wish to forget them, whatever happened, they meant something to you. And you learned and expanded your knowledge from what you were before you met them to who you are right now. You have expanded. And if you have not expanded your knowledge, then let's take for a moment, if instead of wiping them out from your uh, memory, you wipe your memory clean of them. If you had that superpower that I mentioned where you could completely erase them, erase 
the effects that they have on you, erase them from your mind, erase them from your life. Say you could just wipe the slate clean with your arm, you could just wipe away that energy and they never were. They're gone and you're free to move forward. Then all the knowledge all the experiences is also gone, which means that you will not have gained this knowledge, which means that either they will need to come into your life again and the same thing will be repeated, or it will re be repeated again and again with other people until you do gain this knowledge. It's you who's chosen to learn from these experiences. It's you who feels that by ex experiencing what they meant to you, experience what you saw, what you said, what was said, what was done, everything, the whole thing, it gave you bits and pieces of experiences. And by seeing the, these, you gain knowledge. And by truly understanding what they mean for you, truly understanding what they're teaching you, and embracing all that they've shown you, then you gain wisdom. If this is not done with this person, it will be done with someone else. So what if, instead of erasing them from your mind, erasing them from your life, you actually gained this knowledge. You saw what you needed to see. See what the experiences what with this person mean to you. See what it is that they're showing you. What is it that you have gained? There's always something that you have gained. There is always something you can learn. And look to the depths of it. Then what do you gain? wisdom. And you also gain complete freedom because they won't keep coming to your mind. They're coming to your mind so that you can look at it. They're coming to your mind to bring them to the surface so that you can see what you need to see. And once you see it, once you understand it, once you have this wisdom and it's yours in your heart and in your core, then you're free. You set your mind free. You set yourself free. Move your energy into your heart and into your core and look at the energy. Look at your experiences. Look at whatever pops up and comes to the surface and understand it. Learn from it. This is the way to move forward, not by wiping your mind clean, but by seeing what's being shown to you, by choosing to learn, by choosing to raise your energy, raise your frequency, expand all that you are, feel that expansiveness, that freedom comes through wisdom, comes through love, comes through being happy, being you. If they are not a part of you, if they are not here, present, standing at your side right now. Release this energy. Just see the lesson and keep moving forward. Keep moving your energy into your heart and into your core. You'll set your free, yourself free from your mind constantly being stuck into repeated patterns of thinking of them, into repeated beliefs of, hey, I'm trapped. Hey, they've trapped me. Hey, they have a hold on me. No one has a hold on you. You can choose. Choose to move forward with happiness and love. I wish for your most beautiful dreams to come true. And thank you so much for being here. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And also remember to like.